Hi, this is David Beach, and I'm here to explain the configuration of the software I've written for model airplane centered gravity scales. Uh, the code is available on GitHub, and uh, a link to this video is there as well. What you're looking at is a uh, freshly installed uh, software on a scale that I've wired according to the uh, instructions on my GitHub site. Um, one thing that's important to remember, and I'll demonstrate now, uh, pressing button 2 of my software takes you into what I call raw mode and you can see on the top line that the uh, numbers are jumping around quite a bit even though there's still a zero average on the bottom line. Um, what I've determined is a lot of that has to do with the Arduino being connected to the PC uh, during this phase. So I'm going to unplug the USB cable and you'll see um, a lot of the jitterness slowed down and the calibration values are way off. So please be sure to disconnect your Arduino from the PC before doing calibration. We'll press button 1 here to get back to the main screen and we'll go through the calibration procedure. Start by pressing button 1 and press it again to confirm. In my case, the reference rate is 2476, so we're going to spin it up to there. Button number two is plus, button number three is minus. I'll go to 2500, 24, whoop, 2400. I have some bouncy buttons, so we skip right past the tens, but if you'll bear with me, I'll get it down to 2476. There we go. I really need better buttons. All right, is the front cradle empty? Yes, it is. Press button one. It will zero the front cradle. Now, I just put a little weight on the back because my reference weight would tip the scale over otherwise. And put on my reference weight. Um, it's interesting to note that the way load cells work, the positioning of the reference weight is not important. The software is now reading the raw values for the reference weight and when we're done they'll get stored in uh, the EEPROM. We'll remove the weights, make sure the rear cradle is empty, hit button 1, Now that the rear is empty and red, we'll put the reference weight on the rear. And have another go. Button one. Okay. Remove all the weights. And we're off by a couple grams because the calibration value changed during this procedure. We'll hit button 2 to go back into raw mode. And button 3 will zero things out. Um, it's important to note also raw mode is a great way to make sure that your wiring is correct. Uh, press on the front, the first number goes up. Press on the back, second number goes up. Top line is immediate readings and the bottom line is a moving average. So it takes a little while to settle down. Back to the home screen. And you can see where we are.